What is going on, everybody? My name is Pete, and you guys are watching Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Vlogs, day number 1573, coming at you once again with another brand new video. Hope you're all doing fantastic out there. Ladies and gentlemen, if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you, my friends, are in the right place to stay up to date with what's going on in the gig economy. So get started right now for free. Hit that red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications so you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. And, uh, you know, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D, just so I know you did it. And uh, without any further ado, let's jump into the email, Triple Lindy, Thornton Mellon style, and away we go. So everybody, this comes from Nick Venezia. And this is what Nick had to say. He says, hey Pete, my name is Nick and I appreciate all of your YouTube videos. Thank you, Nick. I live in New Jersey and I have been involved in the gig economy as a DoorDash driver for almost four months, uh, four months now part time. I occasionally drive for Grubhub, but they don't keep me as busy as DoorDash. Now I've said this in the past that DoorDash always seems to be the one that is the busiest in most markets. It usually goes, DoorDash, Uber Eats, and then Grubhub is like a close third into almost second place like Uber Eats because they've been building up a name for themselves, but it is what it is. Uh, I have over 700 deliveries under my belt and maintain top dasher privileges every month. Although it is not my primary job, I try to treat it as such. Two points I'd like to make. Number one, aren't any of your viewers concerned about the rising cost of fuel? I paid $4 a gallon for regular last night. Would or could these companies add a fuel surcharge or find a better way to compensate the drivers to help absorb the increased costs? So to answer that, yes, many, many drivers and dashers have come forward recently and have, I don't want to say complain, but they have voiced concern, uh, major concern about the, the rise in gas prices. I know in places... Uh, like California, I've I've been hearing things of uh, gas prices hitting five dollars, six dollars, or more. You know, and it's that's wild. Um, it would be great if these app companies would add you know an extra dollar or something here for a surcharge for gas. But again, they're like, oh, you don't want to deliver? Sorry, twenty other people will take your place if you don't like it, and that's the problem. Number two, but I agree with you. Number two. DoorDash says they will soon be accepting cash orders. At least in my market, they are. Yes, this has been brought up. Curious how your viewers feel about that. As a side note, they are giving the driver the option to opt out of this feature. I would say 99% of the people who have come forward about the cash on demand thing have said they don't like it. In my opinion, it, it, um, it puts drivers and dashers in a tougher spot uh, you know, to get robbed, you know, uh, to, to have, you know, their, the money stolen from them or just to run into other issues that could come along with that. So yeah, I hear you. Uh, stay safe and thank you again for your videos. Nick Venezia, Venezia, uh, it's okay to use my name. Uh, Nick, I think you brought up some really great points here and, uh, I, I definitely can relate to both of them. Uh, and I think a lot of others can as well. But the, the fact of the matter is this, like I said before, um, with the gas, it's definitely a huge concern, okay? Because, you know, that's literally what fuels us, literally, you know, to keep us moving forward on the road to get these uh, orders delivered. Um, and with that being said, it just seems that these companies, as I've said many times, they, they, don't, they don't really care. They really don't care about the driver because if we decide, well, this is unfair, I don't wanna deliver, they're like, okay, no problem, we'll get someone else to do it, and that's what happens. Somebody else who would, let's put it this way, <clears throat> there are drivers out there that, believe it or not, would rather deliver with the high gas prices and take two and three dollar orders and actually lose money but psychologically, because they're still working, they feel like they're actually still gaining, but they're actually losing. People, people will do that, <laughs> okay? It doesn't make sense, but just to say that they're working, they'll do it, you know? And it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. 
So drivers, dashers, what are your thoughts on the two points that Nick brought up? Let me know in the chat or the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I want to hear from you. And of course, if you guys out there ever have anything you want to share with me for a video, uh, send me an email, paid to drive stories at gmail.com. It's the best way to reach me. Information's down below in the description. Uh, or, you know, if you have a question, a topic, a you know, story, an article, whatever you got, send me an email. Or uh, if uh, you want to have a quicker response from me, you guys can f uh, message me through Patreon, patreon.com slash paid to drive. Link is in the description down below or the pin top comment. Uh, feel free to reach out through there. And uh, anyone who signs up as a patron, as my way of saying thank you, is I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. And uh, that's what I'm going to do right now. So when you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got our tier five driver, Ron Grubb. We've also got John Birchfield, David Moore, uh, Angela Counts McCarty, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Jimmy Santiago, Joe Valerio, Kurt Paul, Laura Love, Tulsa Todd, Agus, April Jewab, a uh, Alan G. Van Horn, Nick Gilroy, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havilin, Fresh One, Jason Case, the Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, um, Tom Perry, Chadrick Howell, Brian Richardson, Candace Mitchell, uh, Ginny Thomas, Joyce Hine, LaDonna Roten, Matt Epperson, Nick G, uh, let's see, Stacy Miller, Terrence Pacheco, Valerie Brown, Rebecca Swenson, and welcome Melody Longs. So with that being said, everybody, if you guys want to sign up and join the team, links are down below, go check it out. And uh, who's going to be the next patron? Maybe it will be you. So let's find out. And with that being said, moving right along, I hope every single one of you is saving lots of money on your gas with the free gas app called Get Upside. Remember what Nick was talking about. You definitely, definitely, definitely do not wait any longer. Use the link in the description or the pin top comment where it says get the free gas app. You click on there. It'll tell you how to install it for free on whatever kind of phone, tablet, or device you have. Then from there, all you got to do is you go to your gas station, pump your gas, print out your receipt, take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside gas app, and within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Link's in the description. Make sure to download it today. And of course, for all your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies, visit paytodrivestore.com. We have lots of brand new designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it on sale every day. Paytodrivestore.com is the place for you. Go check it out. Uh, and if you made it to the end of this video, leave a comment saying end 702, E-N-D 702. Just lets me know you made it to the end. Don't forget to hit the free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications. So you're always notified whenever I post something new. And if you wouldn't mind it, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know that I'm doing a good job. In fact, leave a comment saying liked, L-I-K-E-D. Uh, and if you haven't yet, subscribe to my other channel that's like paid to drive called Team PTD. Uh, if you haven't yet, turn on the notifications so you always know when I post something new. And if you and uh, that's it, guys. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling, keep bustling, and we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Paid to Drive Logs. And as always, drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace, everybody. Later.